Hey everyone, it's Eric, and it's Monday, so it's time for coffee and a candle. Today's candle is a Kringle candle, actually, called Carrot Cake. It's part of this year's Easter collection from them. Uh, we will be talking about that. I know we usually talk about a Bath & Body Works candle during these videos, but we're going to be talking a lot about Kringle today. They have a lot of exciting things going on over there, and I figured... Why not try out carrot cake? I've been curious about this candle anyways, so I have had this burning now for almost four hours. So we'll be talking about that briefly. We'll also be talking about what's going on at Bath & Body Works, Kringle, of course, Goose Creek, and we're going to talk briefly about Homeworks, just because there was so much chatter about Homeworks candles yesterday. <laughs> So I thought we'd talk a little bit about homeworks. I have a Easter haul from Kringle I'm going to throw at the end of this video or midway through just because uh, most of the Easter candles at Kringle are sold out and I don't want to make it a separate video just because a lot of them you can't purchase right now. I've been hearing that they're going to uh, try and restock some of them. I guess they have been restocking them, but every time I'm on the website, uh, they're always sold out. So. I don't know. Uh, maybe you've had some luck getting some of those candles if they did restock them. And then we're also, uh, something a little different today, we're going to take a look, a quick look at some of the candles in my candle collection. I've had so many people ask me about my candle collection and what's in it and all that. And we're going to take a real quick look at some of it, uh, the, mostly the summer candles and also a little bit of Kringle candles to give you guys ideas on how to store candles if you need ideas. Uh, you know, but we're going to talk a little bit about that and why we're not going through the entire collection today or in its own video. So we'll get into that in a little bit too. So just a lot of fun things to talk about, you guys. So grab some coffee or a hot tea and let's talk about candles. Okay, so before we get into, you know, talking about what's going on over at Bath & Body Works and all the websites and all that, let's talk a little bit about this carrot cake from Kringle that came out. Uh, for this Easter season, your scent notes are carrot cake, spice, and vanilla frosting. So pretty straightforward. Like I mentioned a minute ago, I've had this candle burning for about four hours now. It has a lovely wax pool, and the wicks are starting to mushroom out, but they've been very calm candles. Nothing overly aggressive here. The throw has been about a medium throw down here in the family room, which is the largest space in the house, and it's open concept. I can smell this fragrance throughout the family room and in the kitchen and also it's gone up to the landing upstairs so it does have some range it mostly has a spicy cakey fragrance to it uh, you get a lot of cinnamon some nutmeg in there yeah just like those kind of spices and then there's like this heavy cake uh, fragrance to it like spiced cake there's almost it seems like a little walnut in there even though they don't list walnut but it's almost like that walnut fragrance you get on banana nut bread candles, but of course minus the banana, but that kind of like nuttiness. I kind of get that on this candle as well. I get no uh, like frosting fragrance at all on this candle. Like there's no cream cheese scent. I mean, they don't really list cream cheese anyways, but I don't get anything like a vanilla frosting fragrance on the candle. This candle really reminds me of pumpkin carving from Bath & Body Works in the fall that we get around Halloween. <laughs> you know, when it was burning it, I was like, kind of smells like fall in here. <laughs> like, are we having a flashback? Are we already back to the fall? Oh, sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Oh, God, I would. So, which, I mean, by summer we will be. But, uh, yeah, it just kind of has that vibe to it. And I guess it makes kind of sense because we're dealing with like cinnamon and nutmeg and clove and all those kind of heavier spices, which we often get in the fall. But it's a wonderful candle, has a wonderful fragrance. Uh, I know right now it is sold out on the Kringle website, but if it does come back this year, it's definitely worth giving it a try. Very, very nice candle, you guys. Okay, so let's move on. Let me flip the page here so I don't forget where we're at. Let's talk really quickly about Homeworks candles. So yesterday in the comments section, uh, several people were talking about Homeworks candles because I had some in the hall. 
and mentioned that you could get them at the Ulta Beauty website, some of them for like $7.50. So I did go check it out, and yep, there are some $7.50 uh, Homeworks candles. So here we have Heirloom Orchard, there's Pumpkin Spice, and Yuletide Glow. Those are all $7.50. We also have some $6.25 candles as well, and there is quite a bit to choose from as well as some of their full price candles. And then it was also brought to my attention that Michael's, Michael's Crafts, also sells Homeworks candles, which another store that I had no idea. I had no idea Ulta sold Homeworks candles. I had no idea Michael's sold Homeworks candles. Uh, so they also have some deals over there. Nothing quite as crazy as a $7.50 that I saw, but they do have some um, $15.99 candles. I noticed uh, Root Beer Float over there. This is their root beer float candle. I know on the Michaels website, I believe it was like $15.99 or $16.99, where on the Ulta website, I believe it was $30. So if you shop around a little, you can find different prices for these candles. Uh, if you are interested in this root beer float, I did do a review on it. It's somewhere here on the channel. <laughs> um, I know, I was like, good luck finding it. It's somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere towards the back, somewhere from last year, but it's your root beer, anise, sparkling ginger, vanilla bean, and crystallized sugar. I can tell you real quick that there is no uh, real like ice cream scent, like it shows like a picture of ice cream, like a scoop of ice cream on the label. You won't get an ice cream fragrance in this candle, in my opinion. You mostly just get the root beer. The root beer, though, is pretty good. It smells uh, very similar to those root beer barrel candies. That would be the best way to describe what this root beer float smells like. Uh, not bad, though. It's not a bad candle. I was a little disappointed with it simply because I wanted that creamy ice cream in there with the root beer, which I've yet to find. Uh, so I'm still on the hunt for the perfect root beer candle. Kind of a fun quest, though, I think. Okay, so let's take a quick look, though, um, at Michael's. Sorry, I got a little off track there, but let's take a quick look at Michael's. So here at Michael's, you know, like I said, we have the Root Beer Float for $16.99. Lots of candles to choose from. There's this Pineapple Colada. That sounds good. As well as the White Sangria. That also sounds really good. Uh, I did try to buy these candles earlier with a 25% off coupon that they are offering on their website and it will not allow you to use the 25% off coupon for these candles. So FYI. Uh, so then I was like, okay, no thanks. I'm not gonna, um, I'll pass. Are you going to bid or are you going to pass? I'm gonna pass, Bob. So that's just a little bit of information on Homeworks right now. I will start to include homeworks in the channel in the future if I'm out buying them. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of interest in them that I just I, I wasn't really aware that people wanted to hear about them so I will include them whenever I'm buying them. Let's take a look at Bath and Body Works and what's going on this week. We do currently have that wellness promotion going on today Monday the 26th which is basically their aromatherapy line. So here on the website, uh, we have lots to choose from. The deal is two for 18 or three for 22. That's a pretty good deal, I think, that three for 22. I wasn't even aware that we had a sensitive skin bubble bath. I knew we had a sensitive skin cure line, but I didn't know that it actually included bubble bath as well. Also starting today, Monday the 26th through Tuesday the 27th, we have a $3.95 soap sale going on. You know, it's funny because I was on looking at it this morning and I've been wanting to get that sea salt and lime hand soap. I've been going into the stores asking, you know, when's it coming in? And they're all like, well, it's not here. <laughs> so today I'm looking on the website and like, Oh, it's an, it's an online exclusive. Well, that's why it's not in stores. But I do like that sea salt and lime hand soap. I also love it in the room spray. I wish they'd give it to us in a three-wick candle. Uh, so I'll definitely have to place a small order just to get a couple of those. It's just a nice lime salted ocean air fragrance. So it's very refreshing for the summer. And then Wednesday the 28th, there will be a wallflower promotion going on that will be in stores and online but it is an email exclusive so make sure that if you're going in store to either have a photo of your email on your phone or just a copy of it 
this Wednesday's wallflower promotion will be a great time to stock up on the sweet carrot cake, which is only available online if you're interested in this. I have this going out in the front entryway. It smells amazing. It's nice and strong. Uh, it really has that wonderful carrot cake fragrance. So if you're interested in the sweet carrot cake and the wallflower, Wednesday is going to be a great day to pick these up. Sounds quite nice. <laughs> and then Thursday the 29th, there will be a rewards member exclusive sales event on the laundry products. So if you're interested in that, that will be on Thursday. Now for Friday, March 1st, Saturday the 2nd and 3rd, I do not have the sales promotions for those days. But I can tell you that we'll most likely have a three wick candle sales promotion during the weekend. I just don't have the details yet on that. So keep your eyes out for that if you're looking for some new candles. Now let's talk about Goose Creek, which will be quick. There's nothing going on really over at Goose Creek, you guys. Their $11 candle promotion ended yesterday or technically this morning, I think like at 5.59 a.m. Uh, so they do have all their three wick candles. I believe they're back at their normal sale price of $13.99. Lots of great candles to choose from. Of course, they do have the Peter Rabbit collection. I just did a haul on that if you want to check that out. Now let's move over to Kringle. They have some exciting things going on over there. They do have a good sale right now. It's a buy one, get one free on their designer three-wick candles or their wax melts. Uh, it's my understanding you can mix and match them, but just so you know that if you buy a candle and a wax melt... You're paying full price for the candle and getting that wax melt for free. So it's better off, the better deal would be to just buy your candles separately and your wax melt separately. That way they're all just 50% off essentially. Uh, so yes, all of their three-wick candles, their designer three-wick candles are on sale. Let's take a quick look at the website. This also includes the 12 new uh, fruity candles they just released several weeks ago. They're also included in the sale. I did place an order this morning for 10 candles because I just think that's a pretty good deal to get them half off like that, uh, especially for these new fragrances they just released. So yes, so many to choose from. Very interested in the lemon meringue pie. And since we've been talking about Kringle and what's going on at their website, I'm going to include my Easter candle haul here. I'm just going to go ahead and move my carrot cake candle and show you what I picked up for Easter from Kringle. Of course, carrot cake was part of that haul, but since we've already talked about that, we're not gonna, <laughs> we're not going to go over this one again, you guys. I'll be right back. So the first Easter candle that I picked was the chocolate eggs. I do love a good chocolate scented candle. I believe this is still available. And I think it's still available just because the jar style is kind of just, you know, it's nice, but it's not like anything to really write home about. Just some Easter eggs on it. Your set notes are chocolate brownies, frosted butter, vanilla, and chocolate chips. Mmm, that is some rich chocolate. Wow. It makes you want to have some chocolate. It smells very good, very decadent, like a nice dark chocolate. Mmm, wow, that is really, really good. I hope this has a great throw on it because this one smells nice and chocolatey. Now, uh, Kringle, you know, is notorious for throwing different things into some of their candles to kind of make them more, I guess, I don't know, fancy or something, like their lava cake. It, I think they put, like, some patchouli in it. Uh, you know, I don't know. Patchouli and chocolate don't really go that well together. I I did a candle review on it. It wasn't bad. Like, I got used to it. I liked it. But I much prefer this where we just have the chocolate. Like, this This smells good. This smells very, very foody and yummy. Oh, it's delicious. So I'm very excited to try that this Easter. Next up is the Sunlit Daffodils. I decided to get this. I almost didn't get it. This one I know is still available, but at the very last minute I put it in my cart. I just thought the daffodils look so pretty with this colored wax that it would just look nice. And it didn't really even sound that bad, really, for a floral candle. This is your grapefruit, floral, green, fruity, violet, jasmine, and musk. So it's a light floral. You do get the citrus from the grapefruit, which is nice. It kind of helps break up that floral. It's actually a very kind of like a clean scent, 
almost like a laundry scent, but not nearly that strong, but kind of like a, like a very light laundry scent to it, like a light, clean fragrance. Uh, so I think I'll actually like this one, even though it has some floral notes listed. It doesn't really uh, smell super strong on the floral side, just because that citrus in there, yeah, it makes it smell very clean, just a nice bright fragrance. Wonderful. Smells so fresh and clean. Uh, the next one that I picked up was the Jelly Bean Jubilee, and I love the the jar style. It has this paint that's flexed all over the jar. Your scent notes are bright citrus lemon, tangerine, juicy cherry, candied blueberries, vanilla sugar, fruity medley, and licorice. Oh, it's so sugary and fruity, just like a mixed bag of fruity fragrances. It kind of reminds me of opening a bag of gummy bears. That's what it reminds me of. But yeah, jelly beans also. But yeah, it just kind of has like that gummy bear fragrance. Mmm, so good. It smells so, so good. Love it. And I just, I love the uh, jar style with this pink and the, um, the paint all over it. It's real pretty. And the jelly beans, of course, look really pretty as well. Okay, so I couldn't get a hold of that marshmallow lemon sugar three-wick candle, but it did come in a two-wick as well called Easter Chicks. <gasps> Hurrah! Yeah! And this is Easter Chicks, real cute little two-wick jar here. Your scent notes are pastry, lemon, sweet, lemon zest, vanilla, and sugar. Ooh, that's nice. Real heavy in the lemon. There's some pastry in there. It's real sweet and sugary. Mmm, that smells good. Oh, this one, I'm glad I'm glad at least got the two wick. I would like to get the three wick, but at least I got the two wick, so can't complain. Uh, the next one is the Easter bunnies. Real cute little Easter bunnies and the Easter baskets. And this is sweet chocolate morsels, creamy coconut, rich rose petals, dewy greens, sheer jasmine, sweet musk, vanilla bean, and golden sandalwood. So this one, you do get the chocolate, but there's also like this rose fragrance in there. Like it lists rose petals. So I do get the rose in there. It's not super heavy on that rose, but it is mixed in there. So it's not just like a foodie gourmand. It's more chocolate floral where your uh, chocolate eggs is just pure decadent chocolate. And that's what I was talking about a little bit earlier there, how sometimes Kringle will throw in other scent notes into these kind of like foodie fragrances and make it something else when sometimes less is more. Just saying. That's right! Uh, I'd rather have the foodie fragrance just be foodie and my florals be florals. But it does smell good. I just, um, the rose, yeah, the rose is a little bit different in that. And different is not what you're looking for. And then the last Easter candle I got was Easter Egg Hunt. Now this is a floral candle, and I'm not too fond of floral candles, but the uh, label looked really cute, so I just decided to go ahead and get it. This one is green, ozone, marine, minty, jasmine, rose, orchid, carnation, musk, cedarwood, and mossy. Definitely a floral. There is a slight minty scent to it as well. Uh, a little soapy. Yeah, not not a bad scent, but then again, I'm not really big on floral candles, so I'm probably not the best person to talk to about florals. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad, but it's not something that I'll probably burn, you know, like, ever, uh, just because there's other candles in the house I'd rather burn that I, you know, enjoy more. But not a bad scent. It's not like off-putting. I just, I'm not too big on florals. I did pick up the iced tea candle. It's a limited edition. I don't believe this is available anymore. And this is your tea leaves, honey, sugar, peach, and lemon zest. I do get the lemon, the tea. It's slightly sweet. It's not like a super like sweet sugary tea scent. It's not bad, but to be quite honest with you guys... I can be honest with you, can't I? I think I'm a fan of the Homeworks Tea Candle. Goose Creek has a really good one. And then, of course, Bath & Body Works had their uh, Sweet Tea and Lemonade last year, which I'm a big fan of as well. Uh, this doesn't smell bad, but those other ones smell pretty darn good. This might be great, though, once I burn it, but I'm cold. 
The other three smell better to me. And then the final candle that I picked up was this churros and chocolate because, yeah, who doesn't want churros and chocolate? This one is chocolate, honey, lemon zest, butter, nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla, sugar, and toasted almond. Oh, it smells so good with the cinnamon and with that chocolate and there's almond. Like, it's a, a, kind of like a chocolate, nutty, cinnamon fragrance. Mmm. That smells delicious. Now, now I want a churro. <laughs> there is this, um, side note, there's this churro ice cream that I get at the uh, grocery store. It's so good. Oh, so good. I love churros. And they actually put little churros in the ice cream. It's delicious, you guys. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So that was my uh, Kringle Candle haul. Now we're going to just take a quick little tour around the house because so many people ask me about my candle collection and how do I store the candles and how do I organize them. So I like to put my candles on safe racks they're, or they're called safe racks or these metal racks. They can hold a lot of weight which you definitely want for your candles because um, they're heavy. This is my summer candle rack and not all the candles here are from the summertime. Some of them I just feel like are summer fragrances and so they're here like sugared lemonade we have here in the spring label and then this one here is actually from the Mother's Day collection and then the bottom one here I think that one was actually from a summer collection. And here's one of my favorite candles Sunset in Maui. I even have a few spaces here for Future Sunset Maui candles ready to go. Love that candle, you guys. So I do have a question for those that are interested in seeing the candle collection. I'm not quite sure how to go about filming this candle collection, like actually doing a video, because as you can see, they're like three deep, and it's really hard to um, kind of show you what's behind some of these candles, because there's all kinds of candles in here, you guys. I know uh, some channels place all the candles out on the floor and do that, which is a, probably the best way to do it, I guess, to really show all the candles. But uh, I just organized this one not that long ago, so I really probably won't be taking them off the shelf. So this one, you know, I'm just kind of quickly showing you guys some of the candles here. Here's a good one, Chocolate Espresso Martini. That was a really good candle from a previous candle drop. Who remembers candied maple bacon? I know that uh, didn't go over well with a lot of people. I ended up buying a bunch of them though. I, I actually like it. So I have, a, I have quite a few of these in my collection. Unicorn Sprinkles. Oh, here's Wine Cellar. I, I'm not a big fan of Wine Cellar. I know a lot of people like this one, but it just wasn't, uh, didn't do it for me. So this candle rack that we're looking at now is part of my fall collection. The rest of the fall collection is in another closet. But uh, this particular space is actually in the bedroom behind the nightstand. It's just dead space that would never get used. So I felt like it was an efficient way to use some dead space, just fill it with candles. And I've moved the nightstand out of the way just to show you all the candles. Uh, but that's just another efficient way to try to use space in your house. I have one of these towers on either side of the bed. The other rack is uh, spring candles, and that's getting ready to be reorganized. Down here at the bottom, I have all my Halloween candles. And you can't really get to these when the nightstand's in the way. But I only have to get to these once a year anyways, so it's actually a good way to store these candles and these little paper towels just help keep the lids from getting scratched up. So the floor space we're looking at right here is actually where the nightstand would be. And here's a closer look at some of the Halloween candles. And some of the fall candles here. Just taking a quick look at some of the candles, nothing too in-depth. I have had to get creative on how to store some of the candles. So this is actually a TV console. 
TV's just right above, but uh, down here is where your DVD players used to be or VCRs and all that. But since we're streaming now, we really don't use those and there was really nothing left in this space. So I decided to fill it with candles. And it's a great way to keep them dust free with these glass doors. So I just have all my Kringle Reserve candles in here. And of course, just the regular uh, large cylinder candles. There's one lone colonial candle in here, Halloween candles. This little frosted glass bottles from Dollar Tree. <laughs> We're gonna go around the corner here into the front coat closet. I really don't use this space other than for some coats. So I have a lot of Goose Creek candles stored here in the crates. Uh, it is an efficient way to store these candles. But the problem is they're out of sight, out of mind, and these candles very rarely get burned. Like we have here a Huntington Home candle from Aldi. It's actually a great candle. Should be out right now. It's a Valentine's Day candle. Then we have Strawberry Shortcake. Here's Wicked Woods. That was a great candle from the fall. So how I like to store my wallflower refills, I like to put them in these little cardboard boxes. You can find these at like Michael's or Home Goods, TJ Maxx, all those types of stores, sell these. It's a great way to keep your wallflowers organized. They fit so nicely in here. And uh, so these are really good to get. So you, and you can usually find these for under $10 at those stores. Uh, sometimes you can even find them on clearance for like just a couple bucks. So that is it for this week's coffee and a candle. I hope you enjoyed the quick walkthrough, some of the candle collection. Uh, it was just a quick walkthrough to show you pretty much how my candles are stored in the house. I do try to use the dead space in the house, like little corners of the house that nothing's ever used in, uh, like behind the bed, things like that. And just uh, that's usually how I try to store most of the candles here in the house by having them in the rooms they get used more often. I feel like when they're in the closet, they're more out of sight, out of mind, and then I don't burn them as often. Uh, so hopefully you got some ideas on how to store maybe some of your candles or wallflower plugs using those boxes. That's a great way to store them. And of course, you can use the crates as well because that's a very efficient way to store candles. Uh, please leave comments down below if you have any ideas on how you store candles and a great way to store them to save space. Everyone, of course, loves to hear information on that. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next Monday for another Coffee and a Candle.